Okay, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube for our next deck, which is going to be Grixis Legends. Um, so this is a deck that we've been we've been talking discussing a, a lot here in uh, Twitch chat uh, over the last little bit, where there's a lot of good cards that you could kind of fit into this deck, um, where, like the three mana slot. Um, other options are Izareth, the Awakener. I'm kind of giving you some some you know, thoughts of if you want to play the deck and maybe if you want to customize it, play some other cards that maybe you like some cards more than others. Eyes are at the Awakeners, perfectly reasonable. Rona, Disciple of Disciple of Gix, I guess. So Rona is pretty good. I've had success before with Rona of like having like our opponent like uh, Thought Erasures away your search for Iskanta and then on turn five you can play Rona exile your search for Iskanta from your gra graveyard and play it immediately. So on turn five, you can like play both of those kind of thing or like Rona come in and play Lazav uh, kind of thing. Um, five mana slot, you have like Rao as at Viceroy and uh, Tezzeret as like other options. Um, you know, there's a lot of different little cards you can play. Uh, you know, there's Judith also that we've played previously, but we're playing Captain Lannery Storm instead of Judith uh, this time. Uh, the previous times I've played this deck, uh, recently we've been playing um, the Judith, but I think the the treasure from Captain Landry Storm usually helps out quite a bit. Um, yeah, we don't have as many we don't have as many legends, but we also have a lot more card draw. We have like the Charter Courses and Sarkins that can like filter through the deck pretty quickly, and we only need the legends for just the the Vile Offering. And of course, if the Vile Offerings aren't if they aren't good, also with this deck, if, if we don't have the Legends, we can discard Vile Offerings to Sarkin and Charter Course as well. Um, yeah, Joyra was another card that we talked about as, like, you know, something you could fit in here. Um, but yeah, so this that's what we got. Let's give it a try. I'm not... I don't... The sideboard, I think Hostage Taker is probably the card that I dislike the most. Um... I think that's probably my least favorite card in the sideboard. But I still have it in for like the Soul-Tie matchup because it's just so, so strong. Um, and there. So here we go. Let's get let's get to playing. Grixis Legends. We're going to have Esper and then Naya Legends up after this. Yeah, what's the toothpaste from Quip like? Um, you know, it's it's mint flavored, but it's not, um, it's not like overpowering or anything. Also, did you all know I used to use way too much toothpaste? I used to use like a whole strip across. Did you know? Did you all know that you're only supposed to use like a tea, uh, pea size? Um, you're only supposed to use like a like a pea sized. That's what it says on there. I guess that's the dentist recommended pea sized portion. Um, but you know, it's it's white toothpaste. It tastes really good. I usually get Crest toothpaste that's like not so expensive from like the grocery store and stuff. Um, and I like I like this quick toothpaste a whole lot more. It's definitely um, like I'm going to be getting like the five dollar refills like whenever mine runs out. I guess I could say this now. If you're now that I'm recording on YouTube, if you're watching this later on on YouTube, um, I have a new sponsor with Quip, awesome electric toothbrush. Um, definitely recommend trying it out. Favorite toothbrush I've ever had. And under um, down in the description, underneath, you'll find my referral code uh, if you want to sign up there. Um, signing up for Quip uh, helps support the stream as much as um, subscribing for an entire year on the channel. So. Um, Gives you even extra incentive to sign up for Quip. Yeah, I'm wearing a tie in my living room because uh, it's comfortable and this, this is how I like to present myself. Even though I'm only in my living room here, I'm also in your living room and you know everybody else's living room that's uh, watching this. And uh, so, you know, kind of basically like being out in public. And so I'd like, like to, that's how I like to present myself. All right, Grixis Legends, got our opening hand. We will keep. 
Our hand's a little awkward with just being having the two uh, buddy lands. <laughs> and we, we do have squeeze, so wins the keep. Our opponent's not really doing anything. I wonder if they disconnected. Didn't seem like they did anything for as long as like keeping their opening hand and everything. I'm going to try just resetting, just in case it's me. I don't think it's me, but it's also just kind of a little laggy of us playing for uh, over three hours now with uh, without resetting, so I'm just going to go ahead and reset. And I also need to start the upload of Bant Legends on YouTube, so I'll get that started. All right, looks like we drew Lazav, I think. Are <laughs> you going to go brush your teeth now? <laughs> I know, I kind of want to go brush my teeth now. So it was 3 3 19. Did not get the untapped land for the Escanta, unfortunately. Really wanted that one. gone pretty bad for us. Don't know if it can go worse. <laughs> Alright, Lazave to Counterspell. That's pretty good. Primal Amulet. <laughs> Perfect. Really want to draw this fourth land here because if we draw the fourth land, we get to play Niv Mizzet. I know my responsibility. I guess Niv Mizzet's not very good against Teferi. Oh, they just get to tuck, tuck Niv. No time for a break. Hmm. I can play Nicol Bolas or Thought Erasure. I don't need this. I need this. No, I can't do both because of the tap land. Oh, these are all tap lands. All right, Look blue, to blue. the skies. They're just in back with counter spells. Can't counter this one. But they do get a taco with the fairy, but you know we can refind it. Yeah, we were playing a weird Gates deck. <laughs> yep. We need to move quickly. No more games. Sarkin's ultimating here pretty soon.
I'd love to play Yagmas Vile Offering, of course. That would be our, our best possible thing, but it's just pretty unlikely that that happens. Quad Laser, thanks for supporting with Quip. Thanks so much, Quad Laser. I just think they have counter magic, right? Like they're that's like kinda like their whole deck is counter magic. But I would certainly like to offering, but I'm gonna kinda wait until wait until they're about I to ultimate the Teferi. You. Hey, see you. That's what it looks like our opponent's deck is, is just a bunch of counter spells. Dun, 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 dun. Reverse! Hmm. I think I'm going to play Angrath first. All right, I need to make a, a photo for a thumbnail. Um, for Band Legends. Attack. Well, that didn't pan out. Oh, I just missed a quip supporter? No. We'll still hype in the channel for Here the newest quip supporter that I just unfortunately missed. No counterspell there. Uh-oh. Double explosion. Let's just draw 10. Ah, I'll have you in no fire. Well, I guess they have to no discard steel. one of those 10 cards. That's most likely game. Sir Swindler. Yeah, no, y'all y'all are not gonna regret getting this tooth this toothbrush. This electric toothbrush is really, really nice. Alright, and that just kills us. Double the explosion because of the primal wellspring. Alright, let's get all these negates in here. Thief of Sanities. I'm gonna 
trim two vile offerings. Even the vile offering is good against Teferi. Um, we'll take out these. No, not you, Kanta. The lava coils. Um... All right, then we have to cut one more card. Yeah, maybe I should have some unmoored egos in the sideboard. Ooh, Hostage Shaker can take a Primal Amulet. That is true. But, like, is it actually going to take the Primal Amulet and then we untap and cast it? Lazav, Lazav's getting a little better. I can copy Thief. Karn seems really, really slow. Squeeze also really slow. It does at least remove the counter if it resolves. And who knows? Maybe they have like some extra creatures that they bring in, like you know, Lyras or whatever. I like Landry Storm. Don't really like Squee. Squee does survive the counters, which is true. I'll trim one chart, of course. Get the Squee back in here. Just because, you know, y'all love Squee and everything. I think I would normally board out the Squee, um, but I, I'm going to keep it in. I'll keep it in. All right, last time we got stuck on our two lands. This time at least our, our lands are untapped lands, but hopefully we get that third lands. We can go Thief or Sarkin immediately on turn three. Yeah, I'm playing the Hostage Shaker for Primal Amulet and or random creatures that they have in their deck. Yeah, you can find the, the deck list by playing by doing exclamation point deck list. You can find it right there. Every time I play best of three, I feel like Field of Ruin is a must in the main deck with all the Ascantas and World of Follies. What's your thoughts on it? Um, I don't want I don't want it in three color decks. The the colorless uh, land is pretty rough for three color decks. I think you need to be playing um, some kind of deck that can like you need to be playing a mana base that can support it. Um, but it is. It is a, a good land if your mana base can support it, if you if you don't really mind the colorless source. Um But yeah, especially especially this three color deck with like our, our color requirements that we have, we just can't play the colorless land at all. Don't doubt my methods. I could see our opponent playing this Primal Amulet here. So do I want to play Nicol Bolas and have Negate up? Or do I want to just play Niv-Mizzet? They are coming! I should just play this thing. Force them to have a wrath. Hope they don't. Binding. 
Well, that's terrible news. I will call the dragons. Draw two. Um, thought erasure, negate, sabotage, sabotage. We'll just take a sabotage. Um, Ascant is good. I'll show you unhinged. I want to just get to seven mana and flip this bolus. Like that's that's my plan right now. Is trying to flip bolus. Perfect. All right. So that's ultimate Sarkin. Come to me. Flip this thing. Get there to fairy. Get my Nivniza back. I'm not ready for this quite yet. That was a pretty good turn. Let's see what you got, opponent. No, Sarkin does not add mana to flip Bolas. Yeah, even so they had to have Cleansing Nova, and even if they have Cleansing Nova, we still just have the two Planeswalkers on the battlefield. Alright, maybe one Hostage Taker. Get the Charter Course back in. <laughs> Average Grix's turn. Star of Extinction would have been brutal. Hmm. All top all tap lands again. Just lets them set up their mana to be able to hold up counter magic. It's not good. I, I want to draw it on tap land. Okay. That's an untapped land. Problem. That untapped land does not cast Lazav or Thought Erasure. We're still 0 and 0 right now. We're 1 and 1 in games. We're we're at game 3 now. This is still the first match. I should play the other Drown Catacomb. I, I played the, the Summit so that we'd have like the ability to play Fire Blood, but this other Catacomb's going to come into play tapped. I probably don't want to play Sarka next turn anyway. Yeah. I guess so. That's like the, the one on tap land that wasn't good. Yeah, negating that, that Teferi... That was... That was pretty clutch. <laughs> They're looking at this Lazav like, am I supposed to counter this? 
reading through everything it does. Plus, Lazov has an awesome animation. Even a better reason to play the card. I kind of feel like they're just chilling with Negate over there. Right? Like only having like the one blue up. Maybe Disdainful Stroke as well. Awesome, Quaint. Um, what does your Blue ain't blue White Angels deck look like? That you're having good results with. So I go with the Nicol Bolas here because then next turn we can double spell with Thought Erasure Sarkin. I certainly like being able to double spell. Ah, uh, they had Ionize. Right, we saw Ionize previously. But now Lazav can turn into a 4-4 Flyer. We can also just spend our mana doing that. We haven't seen Syncopate from our opponent yet. From this, this opponent. Drawing the Thief of Sanity certainly means that's the card I want to play. If our opponent does kill the Thief of Sanity, I'll just turn Lazav into Thief of Sanity this next turn. Like if they have a uh, burn spell again. Bleh. I cannot, Lazav cannot transform into the Nicol Bolas Planeswalker, even though we can copy Nicol Bolas and, and make Lazav a 4-4 flyer, you can't transform it. Because, uh, like, there is, you know, you can, you make it a copy, but um, there is no Nicol Bolas the Arisen on the back of... Lazav. Does get the abilities. You, you can spend the 7 mana if you want. Um, but it doesn't... I don't think it does anything. Detection Tower. No more bindings. Okay, good. Not another binding. That is really good for us. Because that puts a Niv Mizzet in the graveyard. So now Lazav can copy Niv Mizzet. Lazav, the multifarious. Has a lot of text on that card. That's a lot of text in there. And that... You have to, like, scroll. So much text. That has to be, like, the most text on one side of a card. The Lazav copying it would just exile itself. Well, it does say it says seven mana exile Nicol Bolas the Ravager, but it doesn't change the name. So this is Lazav the Multifarious. So I don't know if it actually exiles because of that. Um, 
Yeah, yeah. If we animate Niv, we, you can have two Niv Mizzets on the battlefield. Because you have you have a Lazav the Multifarious and a Niv Mizzet per rune. So yeah, you can we can have two Nivs. But we don't we don't have any or like I guess I Oh, I guess I could have just reanimated that first. Hmm. Oh, I guess I could have... Yeah, I could have just reanimated that first. Because I, I guess I don't need to actually destroy anything. I can just put the Niv-Mizzet into play. But, yeah, they would have countered it, so... Gotcha. The name on the ability would change. This would change to be Exile, Lazav the Multifarious. Okay, so yeah, so you just sp spend seven mana, exile your Lazav, and then that's it. It would not return um, because it there's no Nicol Bolas the Arisen to return. So they are looking for... They have to have, like, land Ixalan's Binding. That's what they're looking for. Didn't find it. Grixis Legends picks up a win. And you see why we have niv -Mizzet in our deck. Because niv is just a, a great card. So there we go. GG. Oh, right. We, we reset during that match. So... Because it wasn't... It wasn't working. So... All right, let's change this over here. One and O. Oh. Dun, dun. No bounties for today. Doesn't look like there's there's no bounties up on the bounty board. And the Band Legends is currently uploading on YouTube. All right, back at it. Nice, we got Watery Grave and Steam Vents, but so now we actually get to play on Curve. Okay, there you go. Wild Growth Walker and Path of Discovery is pretty broken. <coughs> that combination is pretty incredible. I need some more water. Start here. Shock and charter course. Let's definitely take that charter course. <clears throat> Don't care too much about that shock. Well, we can copy Lazav. Our hand, our opponent's hand is not any good, but unfortunately, our hand's not any good either. Haven't drawn any spells. Oh, that's that's awesome, yet I didn't know that. Yeah, weekends usually have higher viewership numbers on the weekends. Um, less people, less other. Streamers stream at that time as well. Alright, Nickel Bolas. That's a good draw. It's a card that does something. <clears throat> I 
<clears throat> so good draw. Um, and if the Nickel Bolas dies, uh, I'll be able to copy with Lazav, unless it's like Lava Coiled, of course, because Lava Coil will exile it. We are currently winning this race. Not really a reason for me to um, block the Arc Light Phoenix. We can just swing back. Next turn we can flip Bolas. Not sure exactly what I want to do with the flipped Bolas. Seven mana, target opponent, you know, sacrifice target opponent, I guess. Yeah, we could copy Lazav with Lazav, turn into a 1-3. This could be a tough matchup for us. I don't really have good answers to Phoenixes. Their hand was, like, really bad. Um, you know, we're better against traditional Drakes than Arclight Phoenix Drake. I don't really have the exile stuff. I guess I have lava coils, so lava coils can exile. Um, yeah, that's a card that can exile. Shivan fire may not be so bad. Kill a phoenix for a little bit, or, but I like how it kills Electromancer. Or we can kick it to kill a drake. Uh, Nickel balls cannot do any damage to opponents. The other... The Nickel Bolas from Hour of Devastation can dome the opponent for seven. No, surveils an ETB effect, so you do not you do not get ETB effects when you copy. Yeah, Cry of the Carnarium would be a lot better here. I don't know about Hostage Taker. I think I want to trim one Vile Offering and the Squee or Lannery Storm. Maybe Lannery Storm. Dying to Shock is a little rough in this matchup. So, you know, I hope I win we win another one, but... We could certainly see games that we that we lose the next two games. Certainly see that happening. Perfect. I guess not perfect. Perfect. I would have preferred Steam Vents uh, to be able to cast Sarkin on turn three, but good enough. Discovery. Ooh, not keeping Electromancer. This other Thought Erasure is great. Taking both these Crackling Drakes is perfect. Perfect. I do like Nickel Bolas a whole lot. I think I may keep it. Like, if they don't answer one Nickel Bolas, then, like, they're gonna die. So, I figure that they'll, like, be able to, to answer one Nickel Bolas. And then, whenever they do, we'll have another one. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like Grixis Dragons. I mean, we only have... I'm only playing, uh... We have six total dragons in the deck. We have four Nicol Boluses and two Niv-Mizzets. 
Um, those are our main threats. You know, we have Sark we have the Planeswalkers with Sarkin, Karn, and Angrath as well. Did they find a Phoenix? Yes, they did. So I'll have the coil for the Phoenix. Get that out of here. I could see them shocking their own Phoenix. Of my flames, madness. <laughs> mm. What madness? Decline. I really like Nicol Bolas. I want them to attack with their Electromancer at my Sarkin, and I block with my Nicol Bolas, and they shock their the Nicol Bolas. Like I want to trade with, I want to trade the shock and the Electromancer for this Bolas here. That's what I want to do. Or we'll trade with that thing. They have two Crackling Drakes in their graveyard. Crackling Drakes would be good for me. That's really bad. That's a problem. Now this Vile Offering isn't going to do anything. Because the Vile Offering, uh, there is you know, no if we you know, untap be and be able to cast it, you know, obviously we can't cast it now, um, but it was looking like we were going to be able to untap and cast it and, like, kill one of their creatures and get a Crackling Drake into play for us, so draw a card and, you know, get, like, a 5-4. Well, pretty glad we didn't get rid of this file offering. Gotta kill that thing. They of course can they can discard that other card and ra play this radical idea, do another couple damage to us. I have to shock. Sure. Their card must be good because they didn't want a radical idea. Whatever it is, it must be good. That is a good one. Oh, wow. And we're dead. All right, going to game three. Man, mass manipulation would be pretty amazing here.
at times. May also be a dead card at other times. I don't really like negate in this matchup, honestly. I think the creatures are like the, the big problem. Let's see if I can try this this mass manipulation. Six mana, we get to steal a creature. Bleh. Honestly, maybe I should be playing Hostage Taker. Coil is rough, of course, but... Um, yeah, maybe that's a card that I should be playing, though. If I take the Electromancer, then they negate my Sarkin. I'm just taking this Crackling Drake. Crackling Drake's just messed up. I, you know, we got to Thought Erasure away two of them previously. Playing that with negate. What, what know you of dragons? I know what I'm doing. I was not expecting that to resolve. So, might as well just cycle, start cycling through these vile offerings and try to find like our Niv Mizzet or something. Hey, we have Cuz with the sub. New Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much, Cuz. Welcome to the channel. Sub number six on the day. Getting that hype in the channel there. And if you're a subscriber, get your hype votes in the channel for our new subscriber. Don't doubt um, my methods. Cousin Noddle. Hey, we got... Daxter joining them. Thanks, Daxter. I get some hype in the channel as well. I really do appreciate that support, Cuz and Daxter. Um, means a lot. Thank you so much. Enjoy your emotes. Well, thanks for the kind words there, Cuz. And longtime viewer, love all the work you do. I appreciate that. Yep, here's a... Here's a dragon. Or sorry, a phoenix. Can we find Niv? Strike like you mean it! It's not bad. Unguided none. What's up, unguided none? Thanks for getting that tier one sub as well. Oh, 
That is sub number eight on the day. Um, I think my favorite is the... Um, I think my favorite's gonna be the Nia Legends. I feel like I should have just taken that negate instead of the Crackling Drake a long time ago. Because I had y Young Moss Vile offering for the Crackling Drake. I think I just messed this up with my Thought Erasure not taking negate forever ago. I messed all this up. I think that was just like the my, my mistake this whole time. Because I even found like the other offering you. we could have gotten like an... I guess there wouldn't have had the... There we go. Wouldn't have had the... Uh, Wouldn't have had the Crackling Drake in the graveyard, though. Ugh. Every problem has a solution. Let's start by taking you out of the equation. Yeah, pretty surprised that the opponent didn't negate the Sarkin earlier. I've been through worse. Where are you at, Niv Mizzet? want a peek. The weight is killing me. Yeah, the phoenixes are, are definitely difficult for my for the 75. Um, if you if you play against a lot of phoenix, you may want to add in some stuff for them into the sideboard. Unmoored Ego is honestly a pretty good option. Get him out of there for good. Lucky shot. <laughs> Time to choose. Oh, it's so exciting. Oh yeah, the the Rao is just killing us. Okay. What's going on? Need that vial offering. Okay. One and one. That's how even like after we won game one, I was just kind of saying that that I thought it was going to be pretty tough for us. Um, Niv Mizzet was our most important card. We d we didn't see it the games two and three. That's the the matchup we really need Niv Mizzet. This will be just fine. I do like Search for Escanta. I think it's certainly worth it's certainly worth the slot. It's not perfect, but it's a two mana card. Can't expect like two mana cards to be perfect. We have sixteen instants and sorceries. Yagmoss Vile offering is the big 
hit for it. We also have... Um, we also have seven Planeswalkers to find with it. Let's get rid of this Blood Crypt. Yeah. Gates. Gates can go over the top. The cat's name is Hawkeye. Okay. Well. Five color gates. A curious choice. Yeah, so this is this is yeah, so Dutch, this is Magic Arena that we're playing here. Um, Magic Arena is free to join, um, and you know looks looks really good. Everything like this, Magic Online, you have to spend ten dollars to start an account, and then you also have to spend a lot of money to get cards as well. Um, but you can play Modern, Legacy, uh, other older formats on it as well. Good choice. So yeah, I I recommend getting arena quite a bit for the especially for a newer player yeah that's what the cards for getting more cards Whoa, they have their own Nicol Bolas? That's pretty cool. Unfortunately, I don't have like really anything better to get back than just Squee. If I want a Vile offering their Bolas. So, might as well just coil it. And cast the Squee. Let's get it exiled. Next turn we'll be able to flip Bolas. Nope, no way to destroy the summit. Summit's just there for good. You may regret that choice. I don't think we really need to tick down with, with the Karns. They're, you know, like they're like a Gates of Blaze deck. Like they have like lots of sweepers. So just like making some like one ones and two twos and stuff isn't really that efficient. And just just using Karn to dig more for more cards, I think, is certainly worthwhile. Game's not ending anytime soon. You want to attack the pen? Here, eat the side of the pen. There you go. Rar. Rar. Yeah, killing the opponent's how we kill the guild summit. Uh, this is annoying. I want a Thought Erasure, but if we Thought Erasure, we don't get to flip Bolas. Can't do both. Are you certain of your decision?
There are none greater than I. All right, going towards that Nicol Bolas ultimate. Um. So yeah, no, you can't you can't buy specific singles or rank cards, but you can just you can buy packs and then uh, open the packs and and earn wild cards for opening packs. Every six packs you open, you get a rare wild card, um, and then but some of them like the each the fourth one of each of those, you get a mythic wild card. Okay, so we have. I want a Vile Offering. One, two, three, four, five. So it's Vile Offering. Put back our Nicol Bolas. Kill this Krasis. Make them dis I'm going to make them discard first so they don't know that they're getting Thought Erasured. And then, of course, Thought Erasure them. Um... Relic Seeker. I, I guess I should have thought Erasure them first. I could have had a Relic Seeker. Yeah, I wish I would have just thought Erasure them first and got this Relic Seeker. Alright, I do kind of have too many cards My now. So we're going to have to go to discard. I guess I just make this car construct. Allow me to introduce you to a friend of mine. They're gonna be casting Gates of Blaze, so no real reason to play Lazav. Yeah, I could have gotten Vraska with Nicol Bolas, but I don't want to leave them with a Nicol Bolas to be able to play and flip and stuff like that. And plus. My my whole strategy right now is to to ultimate this nickel bolus. Um so I don't really want to minus it. Where can you find the deck? Right here, exclamation point deck list. Or there you go, JRC's got you. There's the deck list right there. Exclamation point deck gets you that. As well. Two. I always have an answer. Ping, ping. Thought Erasure. Ping. Okay. Good job, Nikki B. Yeah, it seems like a great mass manipulation matchup. And we'll get all these negates in, the Thief of Sanities. Um. Let's see. I mean, Lava Coil is good against their Nickel Bolas, but not really good against anything else. I can probably get rid of it. Maybe we get rid of like these smaller things though, like Squee and Lazav and Lannery Storm. Like all those things kind of die to sweepers and stuff. Um, I don't know. I should probably have those coils. The coils like help the Thief of Sanities connect. Hey, what's up, Yager? Um, yeah, it's true. An opponent's mass manipulation could have gone real, real bad. Nah, Angrath's great. Angrath's real great. No, Lazav does not give you ETB effects, but it can copy Niv Mizzet. It's very good at copying Niv Mizzet. I 
if I just don't play Karn? I'll play two coils still. Aw. Always love me some cute cat emotes. I'll take it. Turn four Niv Mizzet. So we have turn two Escanta, turn three Sarkin, turn four Niv Mizzet, turn five Vile Offering. This is a curve right here. There is not currently a Gideon in standard. Two days? Aw, oh, thanks, thanks, Matthew. What's your take on Esper midrange? I, I'm not a big fan of Esper midrange, honestly. Um, maybe it's because all of my weird decks are like end up being good against it. That's probably it. I haven't really played the deck. Um, so I don't, I guess I don't have like the, a super well informed, um, opinion about it. I'll show you unhinged. Not gonna have time to really play that chart, of course. All right, we got three blue. I see yeah, red, you. red to go with three blue. All right, that's their third gate. So gates of blaze. They need they need two more gates for gates of blaze to kill old Niv. Oh, they may have expansion explosion to copy it. No. Oh, don't lava coil. No, exile. No. You're lucky I drew this Angrath opponent. Otherwise, I would have been upset. Would have been pup set. Never seen water, no fire, no steel. I don't need this. I need this. Um. Mono red can be tough. Like, yeah, Nickel Bolas and Niv Mizzet are our best cards there. Um. Bolas told me I should do this. My graveyard. Give me this bolus. So I know I could just anchor out minus and get rid of that thing. Um, no but I like fire. just keeping the anchor loyalty no real high. Steel. Working towards these ultimates. All right, let's ultimate this thing. Come to me. Get a new one. Oh no, I was gonna get my Sarkin back and kill you, the Nickel Bolas. All right, two and one. And then I was gonna have Angrath tick up. Yeah, Bolas told Sarkin to discard Bolas there. Oh, man, all these Legends X are so fun. This is just good. This is just a fun day so far today. These legendary sorceries are sweet. Opponents wobbling down to five cards. 
Yeah, we could have also flipped Bolas, but we didn't really need to. So, let's see, Mardu humans, looks like. I don't have a real big opinion on the... I'm going to use this Thought Erasure before it does nothing. I don't have like a, a real big opinion on the London Mulligan rule without playing with it. Um, you know, first reaction... Like, I think it's okay for standard. I think first reaction is that I'm pretty worried about it in... Um, other formats. But uh, I want to, like, really actually play with it and see. Thran Temporal Gateway is pretty expensive. At, like, four mana doesn't do anything. And then you can, like, spend four mana. Um... And you can just keep spending four mana just to, um, you know, put your legendary permanent into play. Where, like, the legendary permanents are probably, you know, only at, like, five mana at most. It's just not really worth it from a mana investment standpoint. Coil's a good one. No. Lazav? Why am I targeting Lazav? This Fireblade Artist is kind of annoying, though. I was considering getting rid of the Fireblade Artist, but we'll just get rid of that next turn. No, Lazav cannot transform into the Planeswalker if copied with an, if it's a Nicol Bolas. is Judith. So when my creatures die, I get to ping those little one ones. Yeah, Vile Offering is sweet. Oh yeah, 2-3 Lazav. Get it, Lazav. Lazav's been awesome here. It's turned on the Vile Offering. It's been like a 1-3 that's held the opponent back. Um, I think I like... Uh, I think I like um, Naya Legends the most. But they're all pretty fun. Naya Legends is the one that I've played the most and, it, and is the, the most well-tuned. Yeah, I love Lazav in the deck. I'm a Lazav fan. Try to course. Ugh. What are all these lands doing? Uh, it's not. It's not very important. The weather light. You can certainly just play any any whatever other card you want to play. It's not that important. Thirteen. That's our thirteenth land. I 
We have 25 in the deck. You know, usually I'm playing 26 land decks. We only have 25 in here. Opponent, you can't even complain about your flood. I don't want to hear it. Ooh, found a spell. Um, I don't, I don't, Rona is a card that I've talked about as like a, as definitely a possibility. I don't know where I would fit it in though. I, I like Rona. Um, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a card I like, but I, I don't know if there's really room for it. All right, well now we can put the Lazav back into play with the Vile Offering, but I think just waiting is good. There we go. That's a real card. I haven't tried board the weather light. I think with the Naya deck, what I'm going to change today is I'm going to change out. I think I'm going to take out the Knight of Autumns for Cinder Vines. And try that. Knight of Autumn's a lot better against... Like, they're both, like, disenchant effects. Knight of Autumn's a lot better against aggro with the gain life. Cindervine's a lot better against control with the deal damage. And I feel like we kind of need that against control more. Um, I think we need the help there more. Alright, so opponent had a really bad hand. Unlikely to have that bad, bad of a hand again. Um... We got the Rituals, the Shivan Fire, and the Hostage Takers to come on in. What seven cards are bad against aggro? Lannery Storm. Especially after bringing in Ritual of Sits. Squee doesn't really block anything that well. File Offering isn't great. Karn's not great. Thought Rager's not great. Karn out. Let's take out a Sarkin, take out the Karns. Take out two Vile Offering. And this leaves us at 61. Taking us Kanta out. Squee's in the deck because everybody loves Squee. Um, what Squee does is Squee has the power of suck. The, the card really sucks. So when you play it, your opponent's not going to use a removal spell on it because it sucks. It's just this crappy 2-1. Um, and that that's, works to your benefit because you have legendary sorceries in the deck that you need to have a legendary creature on the battlefield. And Squee is a a card that is really good at just being on the battlefield. It doesn't really do anything, but it's on the battlefield. Um, so, that's what it gets to do. Freebooter. So they take the ritual, which means I just, you know, of course, use the lava coil on the freebooter. Yeah, remove from play is a thing. It's called they refer to as exiling. No, like I said, it's, I said Squee has the power of suck. Like it's that's a compliment. That like it's it's good that Squee is like really bad like that. All right, I'll see if I need to shiv and fire this Tajik. I would like to be able to ritual of soot. We of course don't have. All right, that's not a trigger that goes on the stack. It just ETBs and is protecting the thing. Um, so it's not like a trigger I could respond to, like, once they choose Tajik. So they get to choose Hunted Witness. A 
Okay, no, just exile is the only thing. That in, there's no other re remove from the game. That's what. That's what exile is like referred to as removing it from the game. Yeah, like that's so that's what I meant. Like that's an upside to Squee. Like that's. It's good that that Squee is so bad. What do they have left? It's a good thing to have left. Yo, we went we went five one yesterday with the Grixis discard deck. Um Want to cast Ritual of Soot? I guess I do. Just in case. Because, like, otherwise, like, Tajik kills us. Problem is, we're going to have to, like, sit back on D. They have a lot of haste things. Sarkin's just getting like a, a Niv Mizzet trigger every turn. What do I want? Like Hunted Witness? Bolus? I guess I want Bolus. If I attack, I die to heroic reinforcements. Um, but I have lethal next turn. If I don't attack, can I still have lethal next turn? We just have to draw four cards. Yeah, let's just go no attack. I think we can we can potentially draw four cards next turn. And that's it. Yeah, Nickel would have drawn two. The Lava Coil would have drawn one. But like that that takes all the mana. The the problem with spending seven mana for Nickel Bolas to draw two. Is that's a that's you know most of the mana. I would have started with lava coiling my own nickel bolus there, and cycle you know paying two to cycle and seeing if we hit something like a chart of course or you know something like that. Because even like Nika, nickel bolus flipped and Sarkin or and. Lava Cool, either one. That's only three cards. That would have only put the opponent... Like, that would have put the opponent down to one. Right. I wanted to coil Niv so Niv wouldn't die. Right. Because I just wanted to play the coil. I didn't want to, like, coil my Nicol Bolas and have it die. I didn't want to actually kill anything.
Hmm. I like our opponent's name, Luca, for us. Love me some Luka Doncic. Um, I mean, Sarkin does, you know, like playing Sarkin does get to like cast these up, cast the bolas and things like that. We obviously need one mana before that. I'm gonna ship it. Ugh, that's so much worse. Can I just have that first hand back, please? Yeah, I'm a big Mavs fan. They're my favorite team. Cause I'm from Dallas. I have the 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 Mavs league pass, so I watch all the Mavs games. At least our opponent has no idea what our deck's doing. I'm sure they think it's Is it Drake's. And at least they are, are just sitting at three lands and going to discard. Go to discard. Dang. Yeah, I definitely think Luka's going to win Rookie of the Year. The stars, I don't... I don't pay much attention to the stars anymore. I, I'm not... I, I really loved going to Stars games and stuff before, um, but the last couple of years of like traveling to and playing like high level Magic and everything, I've just kind of stopped paying attention to the Stars and have, I haven't gotten back into it. I was thinking about not even playing the Lazav because of how likely it was that our opponent had a, a counter spell. I am not but. going to sit this whole bad thought. Because of them sitting, like if they would have just kept getting stuck on lands, we could have potentially, um, like made them just start discarding. But it looks like they did draw lands, so I'm glad we did play it. Of freedom, Right? Yeah, Angrath being able to damage Planeswalkers would be nice. Let's skip to the good part. It's not over yet. It's gonna depend on how, depend on how many more counter spells our opponent has. I've had two absorbs so far. You know, it's possible they're just sitting on a bunch of like cast downs and Kaya's Wraths and Mortifies. Like those kind of cards. We can beat those kind of cards. We need to move quickly. But we do need to move quickly. Oh yeah, they had a negate as well. So three counter three counter spells.
Trey Young's been having Curry. an awesome last couple months. Not last couple months, just awesome like month. Um, he's been, you know, really, really, really good. Um, and I, I think he's got a lot of potential and everything. I don't think he's. Time. I don't really think he's in the conversation for rookie of the year though, because of how bad his first couple months were. You can't just really have like a good. Um, You can't really just have like a good couple months and win Rookie of the Year when Lucas had just such a strong year overall. Do you want me to phase you out of time? But he's a good player. You know um, what? I'm not done yet. The thing about uh, the thing about Trey Young will of course will just be his consistent start consistency. Fast. Um, You're on your own. Because he usually has like some really, you know, high peaks and some really low valleys. And so he, he can level that out. He's going to be a real nice player. Keep up the pace. I will be Bye. better prepared next time. This Kaya is killing us, exiling all of our cards. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. Our actions determine the course of history. <laughs> I'll make use of that later. Exile all of our good cards, though. Kaya, I would have rather had Angrath, for example. Not every fight can end in victory. Beat a search for his Kanta. Probably not. Yeah, opponent had Teferi for too long. Um, we need to... We need to draw, like, you know, we need to draw a Planeswalker, cast this vial <laughs> offering. Bye. We get to get there. Yeah, we can get the Teferi in the graveyard. We, you know, we can't cast this right now unless we have the creature or Planeswalker on, in play. We can't any just... Longer. I can't just cast this, otherwise I would. They have multiple main deck negates? Come on. I don't think we're winning this. Let's let's pick it up. All right, let's get those in. Let's get these in. I mean, Vile Offering is an awesome card, but, you know, it's it's just unreliable, as we saw that game. That we'll have, like, a, you know, a creature or planeswalker on the battlefield. Take two of them out and take out one of those off.
hand's so good if we draw blue mana. Just gonna hope, just gonna hope we have blue mana. I think it's better than the random six. You know, we just mulled to five that last game and had that crappy five card hand. It's the farthest away from blue mana we can get. I don't want to mull to five again. Didn't get there. It's a risk keeping that kind of hand. It's, you know, it's a terrible hand, but, you know, we draw the, the blue source and it turns into a really good hand. Did not draw the blue source, so it was a terrible hand. It's a risk. So we had we had two really bad hands there against the Esper Control. I don't think you know, so like it it looked it looked like you know, like Esper Control dominated us, because that's what that's what control decks do. Whenever they win, they win by a mile. Um I think overall we have a pretty good control matchup though, but you know, we just had really bad hands both of those games. Um So yeah, so Grixis Legends with three two. Not so bad. Hey Luca for us. Is that a Luka Doncic reference? I hope so. That's what I was saying at the beginning. Um, yeah, it happens. Uh, nice. Yeah, I love, I love me some Luka Doncic. That's what I was saying. The Mavs are my favorite team, and so, um, yeah, I watch all the games and everything. I have, like, the, the league pass. Um, I'm usually – I stream from 3 to 10 at night, so I'm usually streaming whenever the Mavs are playing. Um, but then I, I just go back and basically – Every single game night, I, I go back and watch the uh, watch the replay after get done streaming. That's my uh, that's my team. So don't mind lo losing to a fellow Luca fan. Don't mind that loss at all. All right, so that's Grixis Legends. Um, if you're watching this later on on YouTube, of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there, and. Thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next deck.